The word photography is derived from the Greek word photos, meaning light, and graphos, drawing. Modern photography traces its roots back to the camera obscura, a drawing aid artists and scientists used to record images as early as the 11th century. Images could not be permanently captured and stored until the 19th century when the first commercially available process, the daguerreotype, was developed. Since that time, photography has evolved significantly. Today, there are two popular methods for capturing images, film-based photography and digital photography. Film cameras include the single lens reflex, range finder, twin lens reflex, medium format, and view cameras. Digital cameras are either point and shoot models or digital single lens reflex cameras, DSLRs. Film-based cameras record the image on celluloid film with a light-sensitive coating, which is then chemically processed to produce a negative image. Digital cameras capture an image electronically using light-sensitive diodes and store it as pixels. The higher the number of megapixels the camera is capable of storing, the larger the image that can be reproduced clearly. All cameras capture light through the use of a lens. When the photographer presses a button, the shutter opens and light enters through an aperture. Some cameras have interchangeable lenses, a variety of which are available. Telephoto lenses let the photographer take pictures from a long distance away and are commonly used for wildlife photography. Wide-angle lenses are used to capture more of the scene in the frame, but often distort the image in the process. Zoom lenses allow the photographer to change the focal length of the image, and macro lenses are used to take extreme close-up pictures. When shooting landscapes, a photographer often carefully composes the shot, making sure to include foreground, midground, and distant objects. When selecting what to shoot, the photographer looks for diagonal lines and geometric shapes and works with a proportional system known as the rule of thirds based on a three by three grid. Wildlife and nature photographers often get the best pictures at sunrise and sunset because this is when the animals are foraging and the lighting is best. Macro photographers focus on the details, textures, and patterns of their subject matter. Because the shot is magnified, there is a shallow depth of field and not all of the image will be in focus. Photographers choose these limitations to focus our attention on a specific part of the image. The photographer must also pay close attention to those elements that should not be included in the photograph. Unwanted background elements can distract from the main focus. Sometimes photographers build elaborate controlled sets for their photographs. Other times they pose subjects in a natural environment. Photographers must also attend to how the light affects the subject matter. Although dark and light contrast can be manipulated after the photo has been taken, digitally or in the darkroom, it is best to take a picture with good lighting. The amount of light entering the camera can be controlled by adjusting the shutter speed and aperture. One way to control how much light enters the camera is to adjust the amount of time that the shutter is open. This is known as the shutter speed. When photographing rapidly moving subjects, it is important to use a fast shutter speed to avoid blurry images. A slow shutter speed allows the photographer to create motion blur on a fast moving subject. Another way to control the amount of light entering the lens is to adjust the size of the aperture. The aperture setting determines the depth of field or how much of the image is in focus. Measured in f-stops, an aperture such as f8 or f11 is used when the photographer wants the entire image to be in focus. Smaller f-stops such as f2 would result in an image with a narrow depth of field and less overall focus. The ISO number refers to the sensitivity of the film to light. The lower the number, the longer it takes to properly capture an image. For example, film with an ISO of 50 
requires more light to produce a usable image than film with an ISO of 800. When using film-based cameras, after the pictures have been taken, the 35 millimeter film must be rewound into its metal cassette before it is removed from the camera. To process black and white negatives, the film must first be loaded onto a metal reel or spiral in complete darkness. The reel is placed in a light-tight developing tank and developer and fixing chemicals are added one after the other. After a very thorough wash, the film is then taken off the reel and allowed to dry. In order to select which photos to print, the photographer makes a contact sheet by exposing all of the negatives onto a sheet of photographic paper in a darkroom. To create the actual photograph, an enlarger is used to project light through the negative and expose a sheet of photographic paper. Once the photographic paper has been exposed to light, it must be processed. The paper is submerged in a chemical developer that reveals the image. The paper is then placed in a stop bath that halts the developing process. The final step is to place the image in a tray of fixer. This stabilizes the image and protects it from any further exposure to light. The print is then washed to remove all of the chemicals and dried. Color film is developed in the same way as black and white film. However, the time it takes to process the film is shorter and the chemicals must be kept at a higher temperature. Additionally, the photo needs to be processed in complete darkness, whereas a red light can be used when developing black and white film. Digital cameras store images as electronic data that can be downloaded onto a computer. Once on the computer, the color and contrast of the image can be easily manipulated. Digital photos can also be combined together to create interesting collages. Prints can be produced using many types of printers, although inkjet printers are the most common. Photographers set up color profiles on their computer to ensure color accuracy when using a digital printer. Photography is an art form that tells the story of our lives through images. Being able to record an image on paper or screen means capturing a moment in time. These snapshots, combined with the creativity of the artist, have the potential to express and communicate ideas that inspire and influence our cultural experience.